from Munich, Germany. It's the Q covering DataWorks Summit Europe 2017. Brought to you by Hortonworks. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Munich, Germany for DataWorks 2017, formerly Hadoop Summit, uh, the European version. Again, different kind of show than the main show in North America in San Jose, uh, but it's a great show, uh, a lot of great topics. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante. Our next guest is John Christ, the Vice President of International Marketing. Great to see you uh, emceeing the event. Uh, great job, great event. Great. Um, classic European events, got the European vibe. Yep. Germany, everything's you know, tightly, you know, buttoned down, very professional, <laughs> but big IOT message, because yes. in Germany, a lot of industrial action, and That's in right. Europe in general, a lot of smart cities, a lot of mobility initiatives, mm -hmm. so a lot of IOT, a lot of meat on the bone here, yep. so uh, congratulations. Thank Give you. us your thoughts, are you happy with the event? Give us a, by the numbers, how many people, what's the focus? Sure, yeah, no, thanks John, Dave, you know, long time <laughs> CUBE uh, uh, attendee, I'm really excited to be here, always great to have you guys here, thanks. And, and be participating. Um, you know, this is a great event this year. Um, we did change the name, as you mentioned, from Hadoop Summit to DataWorks Summit. Um, perhaps I'll just riff on that a little bit. I think, you know, that, that really was in, in response to the change in the community, the breadth of technologies. You mentioned IoT, uh, machine learning and AI, which we had some of in the, in the keynotes. Um, so, just a real expansion of from data loading, data streaming, analytics, and machine learning and artificial intelligence, which all sit atop and use the core Hadoop platform. We felt like it was time to expand um, the conference itself, open up the aperture to really bring in the other technologies that were involved and really represent what was already starting to kind of feed into, into Hadoop Summit. So it's kind of a natural change, natural evolution. It was a two year visibility. We talked about this yeah. two years ago, yep. that you are, are starting to see this aperture open up a little yep. bit. But it's interesting, I want to get your thoughts on this, because Dave and I were talking yesterday, it's like, you know, we've been to every single Hadoop Summit, you know we've been the cube, yep. been following it all, as you know. It's interesting, the big data space was created by the Hadoop ecosystem, mm -hmm. so yeah, you rode in on the Hadoop horse, yep. I get that, a lot of people don't get it, and they say, oh, Hadoop's dead, but it's not. It's no. evolving to a much broader scope. That's right. And you guys saw that two years ago. Comment on your reaction to that Hadoop is not dead. Yeah, well, I mean, this <laughs> far from dead. If you look at the momentum, <laughs> largest conference ever here in Europe, I think, you know, strong interest from them. I think we had a very good customer panel which talked about the usage, right, how they were really transforming. You had, you know, Walgreens Boots talking about how they are redoing their shelf shelving and how they're redesigning their stores. Um, uh, Danske Bank talking about how they're analyzing how they, re, you know, they replenish their cash machines. Centrica talking about how they redo their, or how they're um, driving down cost of energy by being smarter around um, energy consumption. So, you know, these are real transformative use cases. And so it's, it's far from dead, really, the, the what, what what might be confusing people is probably the fact that there are so many other technologies and markets that are being enabled by this open source technologies um, and the breadth of the platform. And I think that's maybe, people see it kind of move a little bit back, you know, back as a platform play, and so we talk more about streaming and analytics and machine learning, but all that's enabled by Hadoop. It's all riding on top of this platform. And I think people kind of just misconstrue that the fact that there's one It's a fundamental element, obviously. Yeah. But what's the new expansion? I mean, IoT, as I mentioned, is big here, mm -hmm. but there's a lot more in connective tissue going on, as yep. Sean Connolly calls it. Yep. What are those other things? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, as you said, smart cities, uh, smart, smart devices, um, the, the analytics, getting the value out of the technologies, um, the ability to load it and capture it in new ways with new open source technology, NiPy and some of those other things, Kafka, we've heard of, you know, some of those technologies are, are enabling the broader use cases. So I don't think it's, you know, I think it's, that's really the, the fundamental change and shift that we see. It's why we renamed it to DataWorks Summit, because it's all about the data, right? That's well, the, I think if you think about from a customer perspective, well, to me anyway, what's happened is, you know, we went through the adolescent phase of getting this stuff to work yeah. and, and, and figuring out, okay, what's the relationship with my enterprise data warehouse? And then they realized, wow, the enterprise data warehouse is critical to my big data mm -hmm. platform. So, what customers have done is they've evolved, as Hadoop has evolved, their big data platforms internally, mm -hmm. and now they're turning to their business saying, okay, we have this platform. Let's now really start to go up the steep part of the S-curve and get more value out of mm -hmm. it. Do you agree with that? I would scenario? definitely agree with that. I think, um, I think that 
as companies have, and then particularly here in Europe, it's interesting because they've kind of waited for the, mature, the technology to mature, and it's reached that inflection point, to your point, Dave, such that they're really saying, all right, let's really get this into production, let's really drive value out of the data you know, that, that they see and know they have, and there's sort of a, we see a sense of urgency here in Europe to get going and really start to get that value out. Yeah, and it's, we call it a ratchet game. You know, the ratchet <laughs> is, okay, you get the technology to work, okay, you still got to keep the lights on, Okay, and oh, by the way, we need some data <coughs> governance, let's ratchet up that side of the, oh, we need a CDO, mm -hmm. and so, because if you just try to ratchet up one side of the house, you know, Well, Carlo from HPE problem. said it great on our last segment, yep. and I thought this was fundamental, this was kind of like, you had a cube moment where it's like, wow, that's a really amazing insight, and he said something profound, the data is now foundational to all conversations, right? and that's, uh, from a business standpoint, has never always been the case, right. now it's like, okay, you can look at data as a fundamental foundation building block, right? and then react from there. So if you get the data locked in, to Dave's point about compliance, you then can then do clever things. Mm -hmm. so you could have a conversation about a dynamic edge or right. something else. So the foundational data is really now fundamental. And I think that is changes, it's not a database issue, it's just all data. Right. No, all I databases. Think. You're right, it's all data, it's, it's driving the business in all different functions. It's operational efficiency, it's new applications, you know, it's customer intimacy, all of those different ways that all these companies are going, you know, we've got this data, we, we now have the systems, and we can go ahead and, and move forward with it. And I think that's, you know, the, the momentum that we're seeing here in, in Europe, as evidenced by the conference and those kinds of things, just, I think, really shows how Maybe, we used to say, I'd say, when I first moved over here, that Europe was maybe a year and a half behind the US in terms of adoption. I would say that's shrunk to where a lot of the conversations are the exact same conversations that we're having with big yeah. European companies that we're having with US companies. And even if yeah. we were just talking to Carlo, he's like, well, in Europe is ahead in things like certain IoT, and yeah. industrial IoT, yeah. Yeah. even industrial IoT analytics. Some of the, you know, Tesla notwithstanding, some of the, some of the automated vehicles, right. you know, autonomous vehicles activity that's going on that's here, right. with, certainly with Daimler and others. So there's there's an advancement. It almost reminds me of the early days of mobile. <laughs> it's actually, so. it, it's a good point. I mean, if you if you look at, squint through some of the perspectives, depends what, where, where you are in the room and what your view is, you could argue there are many things that Europe is adv advanced on and where we're behind. If you look at Amazon Web Services, for instance, mm -hmm. they are clearly running as fast as they can to deploy regions. Mm -hmm. So the, I'm, I'm, the scoop's coming out now, I'm hearing buzz that there's another region coming out right. from Amazon. I mean, soon, <laughs> you can't go fast enough. Google is putting out regions, again, right. Data centers are now pushing global, yet there's more industrial here than is there. So it's interesting perspective. I mean, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's and, and it's it's perfectly fair to say there are many places where it's more advanced. I think in this technology and open source technologies in general are helping drive some of those and enable yeah. some of those, you know, trends. Because you know, if you have the sensors, you need a place to store and you know analyze that data, whether it's smart cars or smart cities or energy, smart energy, all those different places. That's, that's really where we are. What's different in, in the international theater that you're involved in? Because you've been on both sides. Yep. Obviously you came from the U.S. Yep. Um, and when we first met. Um, what's different out here now? And obviously the yep. gap's closing. What are the things that notable that you could share? Yeah, yeah. So I'd say, you know, we still see customers um, in the U.S. are still very much wanting to use the, the shiniest new thing, like the very latest version of Spark or the very latest version of um, of NiFi or some other technologies. They, they want to push and use that, that latest version. In Europe, now the conversations are slightly different in terms of you know, understanding the security and governance. I think there's a lot more consciousness, if you will, around data here. Um, there's other rules and regulations that are coming into place. And I think they're you know, a little bit more advanced in how they think of yeah. data, personal data, how it should be treated. And so, you know, consequently, those are where the conversations are about the platform. How do we secure it? You know, how does it get governed? Um, so that it's not it as fast as loose as the U.S. Yeah, it's not as fast. I mean, you know, and you look and see some of the regulations. <laughs> I mean, you know, my, my wife asked me if we should set up a VPN on our on our uh, home Wi-Fi because of this new you know rule about being able to sell the personal data. I've said, well. We're not in the U.S., but perhaps when we move no, to the U.S. No, we're going to go right to blockchain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have to consider that. Absolutely. Encrypt everything. Exactly. Well, uh, another topic is, just talk, let's talk about the ecosystem a little bit. You've mm -hmm. got now some, some additional public brethren. Obviously, Cloudera has been a lot of talk here, but mm -hmm. Talon, Altrix has, yep. has gone public. The ecosystem, you've, you've evolved that. IBM was up on stage with you yep. guys, so yep. that Del continues. Dell EMC. Talk about that a little bit. Dell Del EMC. EMC. I mean, we had a great, uh, you know, partners are great. We've always been about the ecosystem. We were talking about it before we came on. Uh, on screen that for us, 
you know, it's not Barney partnerships. They're very much of substance engineering to try to drive value for, for the customers. It's where we see, see that value and that joint value. So IBM is working with us across all of the data work summit, but you know, even in, in all of the engineering work that we're doing, participated in HDP 2.6 announcement that we just did, and I'm sure, you know, what you covered with uh, with Sean and others, but you know, those partnerships really help drive value for the customer. Mm -hmm. For us, it's all about making sure the customer is successful, and to make a complete solution, it is a range of products, right? It is, you know, whether it's data warehousing, mm -hmm. servers, networks, all of the different analytics, right? There's not one product that is the complete solution. It does take, you know, a stack, a multitude of technologies to make somebody successful. Cloudera's S1 was filed, which has been part of the conversation. We've been digging into it. It's great to see the numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, anything surprise you in the S1 and advice you'd give to uh, open source companies looking to go public because, as Dave pointed out, there's a string now of, of, of comrades in arms, if you will. MuleSoft is doing yep. very well. Yep. Um, Altrix just went public. Yep. You guys have been public for a long time. Yep. You guys have been operating in the public open, yeah. both open source, pure open source, but also on the public markets. You guys have experience, you got some scar tissue. Yeah, what's, yeah. what's your advice to Cloudera or others that are, because there is certainly will be a rush for more public companies, it's yeah. a fantastic trend. I mean, I think it is a fantastic trend. I completely agree and I think that it shows the strength of the market, it shows both the big data market in general, the analytics market, kind of all the different components that are represented in some of those you know, IPOs or planned IPOs. Um, I think that, you know, for us, we're always driving for success of the customer, and I think any of the open source companies, they have to you know, look at their business plan and take it stepwise and approach that keeps an eye on making the customer successful, because that's ultimately what's going to drive the company success and drive revenue forward and, and continue to do it. But we welcome as many companies as possible to come into the public market, because A, it just allows everybody to operate in an open and honest way in terms of comparison and understanding how growth is, um, but B, it's just, it shows that strength of how open source and related technologies can help yeah. drive things forward. And it's good for the customer too, because now they can compare yes. apples to apples, exactly. vis-a-vis Cloudera, and what's interesting is that they had such a head start on you guys, um, Hortonworks, but the numbers are almost identical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, really close. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's indicative of the, of the opportunity that they're now coming out, and you know, there's rumors of other, other companies coming out, and I think it's just, yeah. gives that visibility. We welcome it, absolutely, yeah. to show, because we're very proud of our performance and how our growth, and I think that's something that we stand yeah. behind and stand on top of, and you know, we want to see others come out and show what they got. Let's talk about events, if we can. Yeah. Um, we were there at the first Hadoop Summit in San Jose, thrilled to be you know, you here guys. in uh, Dublin yeah. uh, last year, so yeah. what's the event strategy? I love going into you know, local flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we had the Irish Singers, this year we had a you know, great you know, local band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you've announced where next year's going to be, maybe you could share with us sort of the, the, the rollout strategy. Yeah, so I mean, first of all, DataWorks Summit is a, is a great event as you guys know, and you guys are long participants, so you know, it's a great partnership. Um, you know, we're, we've Moving them international, of course we did a couple, we already international, but moving a couple to Asia last right. year, so those were tremendous success. We actually exceeded our targets in terms of how many people we thought would Where go. Where did you do those? We were in Melbourne and Tokyo. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so in both places, great community, kind of rushed to the event and kind of understanding, really showed that there is truly a global kind of data community around Hadoop and other related technologies. So, you know, from here, as you guys know, because you're going to be there, we're thinking about San Jose and really wanting to, to make sure that's a great event. It's already stacking up to be tremendous. Call for Papers is all done and all that's announced. So, even the sessions, we're really starting to build for that. We'll be, later this year, we'll be in Sydney. So, we're going to have a, you know, have, take uh, DataWorks into, uh, into Sydney, uh, Australia in September. Um, you know, so throughout the rest of this year, there's going to be continued building momentum and just really global participation in this community, which is great. You know, it's yeah. fantastic. Sydney should be great. Yeah. Looking forward to it. We're looking to expand the cube down under. Dave and I are, yeah. are excited. Talk They've got that. a lot of interest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John, Come great to down. have you on the cube yeah. again. Great to see you. Congratulations and good to see you up on stage. Thank you. Doing the MC. Great show. A lot of great presenters and great customer testimonials. And as always, the sessions are packed. Um, and good learning, great yeah. community. Congratulations on your ecosystem. This is theCUBE broadcasting live from Munich, Germany for DataWorks 2017, presented by Hortonworks and Yahoo. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vaughn. Stay with us, great interviews on day two, still up. Stay with us. <laughs>